Hi everyone, it is September 7th, 2021, and I'm at Toronto Pearson Airport. The last time I was here was in December 2019, and I'm actually flying to the same place again, Panama City, but we're not staying at Panama this time. We are en route to Ecuador from there. So the check-in process was actually really fast here. Um, I think we got in in about 10 minutes because we just travel with our backpacks. Hashtag team carry on. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty empty here. It's very quiet. And everything seems to be pretty safe so far. Everyone's spaced out, wearing masks. So yeah, we're just here waiting to take off soon and we will check back in with you when we get to our first stop in Panama City. So we made it to Panama City. The flight was actually quite good. Uh, we left a little bit late but arrived on time which is awesome. So we are just waiting for our connection to Quito and as you can see this part of the airport is also pretty quiet just like in Toronto um, but uh, Terminal 1 which is where we arrived was pretty busy so we're currently in Terminal 2 where it's nice and quiet. <laughs> we made it! We're in Quito! Yay! Alright we made it to Quito. That was a bit of a long day. We left our house in Toronto at around 6.45 a.m. It is local time 10.45 p.m. in Ecuador and uh, you know it wasn't that bad. The flights were pretty good. Um, we flew about six hours no, sorry, five hours from Toronto to Panama. We had a bit of a long layover there, th three hours or so. And um, this last flight was a couple of hours from Panama to Quito. And both flights were um, mostly full. Uh, Paul luckily got an empty seat beside him on the second flight. So we got a little bit more leg room, uh, breathing space. Um, we got food on both flights, which was kind of nice, even though we actually just saved the food and are eating it now in our hotel room. Um, yeah, so the whole process was okay. It was, we felt pretty safe, I think, the whole time. Um, upon entering Ecuador, they asked for a health declaration form and whether you've had a COVID test. So we had to provide that information, which was very easy. They just waved us through after providing that. Um, so yeah, it wasn't as stressful as I thought it would be initially traveling at this time. Um, I think one of the hardest things was just leaving your mask on pretty much all day for t almost 12 hours. So now it's nice to have a little breathing room and uh, a room to ourselves. So we are looking forward to a good night's rest here at the Wyndham Hotel at the Quito Airport. We'll wake up and have a nice breakfast, I hope, <laughs> and then we will take the free airport shuttle back to the airport to take our third flight of this journey to our final destination of Cuenca. Hasta mañana. Hi everyone. It is day two of our travel adventures. We are in Quito and we're taking a domestic flight today to Cuenca. So it's a very short flight. I think it's about an hour long. Um, the airport here looks quite nice and pretty empty as you can see. 
so we'll check back in with you at our final destination in Cuenca. Suites near El Centro, and I wanted to show you our apartment. Oh, I can't figure out how to. <laughs> 